Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's myself, Paul Neal, and I'm joined by Dundalk FC striker Patrick Coopin. Patrick, how are you keeping? Not too bad. How are you getting on? Thanks for having No problem. It's good to see you. You, you look like you're keeping a nice tan there. Um, how have you been coping throughout this whole... I haven't really spoken to you throughout the whole pandemic, I suppose. Um, football's been away. You've kind of been back, but, but how have you been coping throughout the whole process? Uh... Here and there, I suppose. Um, been training through the whole lockdown. It's it's been kind of a bit of a bore to be honest by yourself for most of the lockdown training by yourself. Um, you know, a lot of our sessions were on like uh, Zoom gym sessions were on Zoom with yoga session once a week, and then we were doing our own running, uh, different types of running three times a week. So you know, it kept us busy. But you know, when you have no games um, to show for it at the end, it's kind of means nothing i suppose but um still have to keep working hard and you know keep driving on and hope that the league comes back sometime and um yeah just working hard through the whole uh lockdown well i think that that's it really isn't it you're kind of just training 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 there's no carrot at the end of the stick really um no. i i know you yourself you're kind of in a situation where your your partners uh you're, you and your partner are expecting a baby now in november so I think it's it's key for your, someone like yourself, uh, the peak of your powers, to be back playing and having something to, to kind of look forward to. But like, um, you've been back training the last couple of weeks. Uh, there's been COVID nineteen tests and stuff like that. But what's it been like for yourself? Because I, I I know you and I I know how much you love playing and want to get out and scoring goals and stuff like that. But how how I suppose you must be happy at least that training's been back. Yeah. Um... It was good to get back training, obviously. Um, you know, I thought we'd be back earlier with the first phase, but it wasn't meant to be, which was quite frustrating, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, we got to go back and we're training in groups of tens and, you know, seeing all the lads' faces again is quite enjoyable. And, um, uh, like, training's been good, um, tough, but good. Um but then again, like, you know, we're still in uncertain times. Uh, we've none to, at this moment of time, there's there's none to really play for at the moment. So, you know, we're just training away, hoping that something does come back um, sooner rather than later. And, um, yeah, well, training's been really good. You know, we're, you know, we're like kids on Christmas morning when we got to go into the pitch, we were just booting balls everywhere, getting given out to in case, you know, you pull a quad or something. But uh, it was great to be back and... Um, yeah, let's just hope there's something at the end of it. Is is, is that a case now of, you know, it's, it's just pre-season all over again after coming in, we played, what, five games? Um, yeah. And again, going back to knowing yourself, I know you've lost against Rovers. And it, it was a great game for, in terms of the League of Ireland as an advert for the league and the quality that was on show. And I know you, how much you would have wanted to get over that and just start kicking on and getting results um, to topple Rovers I suppose and get back to the top of the league but is, isn't that so annoying like in terms of you, th you, you think in attendance were, were, and this is I know it's a pandemic and no one can really control it but the fact is we had gates that were you know selling out I believe Shells and, and Dundalk was a sellout um, Shells sold out most of their games Dundalk always have high crowds Rovers were selling out Bowes were selling out like People were getting to the grounds and there was starting to get a bit of hype and then this happens and now the kind of momentum that was there just seems to have fizzled out at the minute. And again, it's a it's a thing that no one re really can control. But did you feel there was something there that was kind of bubbling under the surface, getting more people to games? Yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose they, with Shelburne come back up, I know they're your club. Um, you know, they were bringing great crowds. Like uh, We played them in... We played them in... Um, what what you call it? Talca. Yeah, Talca. I was thinking Tolman there for for some reason. Tolman Park, uh, Talca, and um, you know it was a great atmosphere. It was a great crowd. We brought. I think we filled our area as well, and um, great travel and support. And you know um, it was a scrappy enough day, I suppose, to play a game of football in. But um, it was great atmosphere, and um, you know with the game between ourselves and Rovers as well, like massive crowd at that the the you know the atmosphere was electric it was it was a great game to be involved in even though personally i don't think we played that well we played for about 25 minutes spell in the first half but it was a great game to be involved in and you know it, it 
did a you know a good ad- advert for the league I thought and um you know it, it, you can see the league that's improving all the time and um there's better players there's there's better quality out there and um we've improved massively as well in our squad and you can see Rovers have you know Bows have a good squad there Derry and you know other teams coming up as well and um it was it was going to be an exciting league but sure, look you can't control what's happened it's happened um you know, all we can do now is hope that something comes back because, you know, I feel like the league needs it massively. Um, Ireland need Irish football massively and um, and we just need to get it back sooner rather than later because um, it, will, it will be disastrous if there was no league at all. Um, we need we need Irish football here and, you know, for, for me personally and I, I, I probably could be speaking on behalf of the, probably the team, like, you know, we all have families... You know, I've a, I've a baby coming on the way as well, and um, you know, need to have an income coming in. Basically, that's just the way it is, and need to be playing football. And it's important for my family to be playing football. And you know, if they, if there's no football there to be played, it'd be it'd be very difficult times. And and another thing as well, like it's taken a career, it's taken a year out of your career too, which I don't want. At my age, I'm 28 now, and. Um, you know, it's it's you know when you see the frustrating part of it is when you see all other clubs around the world going back playing football, and you're and I'm I'm just sitting there looking like how can we not go back? And it's it's unfortunately it's all about money. That's just the way it is. It's there's uh, no two ways about it. Like uh, it's it's out there. Everyone knows it's about money, and and that's unfortunate. Uh, that's unfortunate, I suppose. Um, but here, look, we have to wait and see what happens. But we definitely need it back. It'll be disastrous. Yeah, I think Vinnie Perth and Stephen Bally both came out. And I think Stephen Bally said it would set the league back 20 years. And I think yourself, uh, you know, at the age of your career, and I, I said it a couple of years ago, I thought you should have got called up um, under Martin O'Neill. I thought you should have got called up. And, you know, you're starting to show, show signs of that form again at the start of this season. And if it's to go down with, with no season, then, as I said, it, it would be disastrous in terms of your career. Any aspirations you might have of, of playing for Ireland. And obviously, if there's a manager gone in there now, and Stephen Kenny, who knows you quite well. And if you had been hitting the ground running, who knows what could have happened there in, you know, four, four five months' time, you know. Um, if... You know, if there's no league there, then you can't do it. But if there's a league there and you're banging in goals, you know, who's to say that you wouldn't get called up or c- considering he knows you? And, you know, I'm looking around people like Jack Byrne um, as well. Like you, you, you yourselves, Mickey Duffy, these types of players are, are, are the biggest players in the league. And here we all are as fans and yourself as players and obviously your club and stuff are all worried about, you know, will there even be a season? I know there's been talks between uh the players and uh, i think it's the league or niall quinn i'm not sure i think there's more talks pushed back again now till uh the 17th which i know there's going to be a lot of um talk regarding uh, the nation's league and i think the european fixtures as well what way they're going to happen if the champions league stuff is going to be pushed back as well obviously with premier league and everything coming back so i think i think we'll know more on the 17th in two days uh, what's re- what's really gonna happen? But I just I, I like I'm I, I'm just in worry for for yourselves in terms of your career, your job, your livelihood. And as you said, you know you have a baby on the way, and you can't put food on the table if if there's no football. Yeah, you know it's it's I'm in the same situation as everyone else. Um, you know it's a year off everyone's career, no matter what age you are. If you're 19 to whatever 30 odd, so it's a year off. Um, everyone's career like and um and like that'll be a big massive downfall for for everyone if the league's not back and it definitely needs to come back um we can't be the only country not going back playing football playing playing an iconic sport in the world and we are the only ones not back and you know when you look at ireland as in the COVID 19 at the moment you know we're doing very very well extremely well and you see people queuing up in for pennies in dublin queues like going way back and then why why can't we come back playing football <laughs> you know like i don't get it um I suppose it all goes down to money like that's just the way it is and you know if you're able to queue up 
you know, two meters apart, go, trying to go into a shop, how can you not be a meter? They're bringing in the meter, I suppose. How can you not be a meter apart in a, in a in a stadium or anywhere else? So, you know, there's revenue there still to be met for the clubs if if the, that could be put in place. And you know, we need we need Irish football back, and um, you know, that's just the way it is. And uh, speaking of for everyone here, like. Um, Irish football is needed and I can't stress it anymore. I just want to go back playing the game I love. Um, you know, I, it's, I'm coming towards the end, I suppose, in the next couple of years. I've probably, what, seven years left? I'd like to think I've seven now, 35. But uh, I'd like to hope I'm going to finish my career strong and um, I just don't need a year out of playing football, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I, I'm in total agreement with you. Um... But just in regards to this, this four-team tournament with uh, yourselves, Derry, uh, Bohemians and Shamrock Rovers, has there been any update there? Because if that is the case, of you, you know, you're speaking there about wanting to play football, at least you, you may be in a situation where you'll be playing the tournament and maybe then be able to play European football. So in some cases, you will get to play football. Yeah, it's well, you know more than myself, really. We're the four teams back at the moment. We're the four teams getting tested at the moment. Um, every test has come back negative, um, which is a massive plus. Um, this to prepare us for Europe, but you look at it, all the teams that we could be getting in Europe have been back for the last what seven weeks, eight weeks playing games, training 11 v 11s in training. We're only allowed to be have 10 in or whatever 15 at, in at one time, so it's 10 really training at one time. So you know, we are miles behind other countries when it comes to terms to football. Um, miles behind them for fitness-wise, match fitness, now not fitness, but, you know, totally two different things. Ask any football or match fitness to normal fitness is two, two different things. So, you know, in, th in that regard, we're, we're behind and um, it's unfortunate, really. So, you know, they're saying this tournament is to help us get ready for um, Europe. You know, my opinion, I'd like to have a few more games than just a three three games or whatever it is. I'd like to play a few more games to be ready for Europe. And um, But here, look, whatever has been thrown at us, we'll take it. Because, you know, we, I just want to get back onto the football pitch, do what I do best and, you know, just do well for the team. And and hopefully we can get far in, it in, in Europe this year. And because that was our aim at the start of the year before all this happened was to you know, really push on in Europe and I feel that we've a, definitely have a squad to do something like that and a um, bit of luck, I suppose, in the draw. Um, but, you know, we need football back and can't stress it enough we're the only country not back. And, uh, has there been any dates arranged for that tournament or was it it's just, you know, all be in July or have, have you been told any dates? <laughs> I haven't a clue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, no way, so. I haven't a clue. Um, we're back training which is what I guess is a good sign so you just take from there I suppose um, what happens next I don't know um, hopefully we can go into 11v11 training soon and play play against ourselves <laughs> that'd be a competitive match 11v11 against ourselves and have a bit of banter I suppose who, who can get the three points uh, do, like when you're I can only like it's frustrating me listening to you talking about. It. So I can only imagine how frustrated you are not even getting to play a match. Like it's all like we all know training and matches are two completely different things. It's all, it's all well and good being able to train, but at the end of the day, your bread and butter is scoring goals and not being able to get out there and, and do that. And it's it's all you have known, you know, since you have been kids. I'm sure. And it's the fact now, sorry, for every, for every player. You know, yeah. you train, prepare for a game, and that mentality of trying to keep win winning games of football, and that's what you live for for nine months of the year or whatever it is, ten months of the year, is is train. You know, eat, sleep, and repeat all the time. Football, 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 and that's what it is for me. Um, you know, prepare for a game during the week, get ready for that Friday game, and hopefully win, and move on to the next game straight away. And that's how that's how I lived my life for the last since I was what nineteen years of age. So um, for the only um,
country not to be back playing football, I just find it madness, to be honest with you. Um, probably showing up quite a bit of frustration here. Frustration here. Didn't plan on uh, showing this kind of frustration, but it eats me it's up. natural, and, though, you know. Uh, to be honest, it eats me up inside. It, it, it kills me. Um, you know, I looked up Sky Sports results and fixtures and stuff, and you just see... All leagues, the, all these leagues are back, like, like Denmark and Greek league, uh, this like this Atlantic league, and you're just going like, these are all teams we can get in Europe. What is going on? You know, <laughs> get us back. We need to be playing football. So, I think one of the aims was to be one. Uh, I think that one of the first countries back playing as well. Or maybe that was maybe one of the first sports, per- perhaps. But um. It's it's yeah I like I mean the the break is long enough as it is the off season you know that's long enough as it is and now you have this on top of that basically basically what it has what it's been it's been I I I in my opinion it's been four pre seasons in one year from for us in Dundalk because we do a pre pre season basically so um we do a pre season before pre season and now we we're doing the same during lockdown. And now we're in pre-season again. So um, we've done four this year um, with no sign of any football to be kicked. And um, I badly wanted to go back. Um, everyone wanted to go back. Everyone I talked to wanted to go back. Um, so we need Irish football to be back in this country. We need it. For, yeah. It's not just, not just for players alone. It's for fans as well. You know, the fans all want it back. You know, want something to, I suppose, to, in terms of like live for for the Friday for that game of football that's going to be on. You know, they they want football to be back too, and and we as players want to entertain. We want to be on the pitch. We want to, you know, do our part for our club and for all the fans as well. And you know, if you don't have that in this country, it's it is going to be disastrous for the league in the next few years. Yeah, I think obviously that goes without saying the banter as well between like there's nothing better than scoring a goal and celebrating in front of your fans as well. Or, or I think as you mentioned on a live show recently that um, you know uh, you'd go up to the opposition fans just to shush them, just to uh, just as a bit of banter because they've been giving it to you the whole game. Like you know you do miss that, and I'm sure of course you do. Yeah, definitely. Um, but if we had to, if if the league come back and we weren't able to have any fans back. I take that for the time being, just to be back playing, to get the league up and running again is massively important for Irish football. So, um, you have players who are developing at clubs who could play for Ireland in the future, and they, they you can't afford to have years off their careers as well. So I'm on about guys who are who are nineteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, developing playing football. You know they need to be, they can't be taking a year out. They need to be playing. Um, so it's an accumulation of a lot of things and that's why I can't stress enough that it needs to come back and I've probably said it so many times that we need to come back but it's just frustrating me um, yeah well Pat I think I think we'll leave it there I don't I don't want to be getting you any more frustrated than you already are I can, I can tell by you but um, listen it's, it's been a pleasure catching up with you and thanks very much for, for no. dropping on um, thank you thanks very much uh, hopefully we could have a few more of these chats now when the league's back so yeah 100 percent um for anyone watching don't forget to um give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already follow pat huben his social media will be underneath his name there so make sure to give him a follow